Thanks for tuning in to the Park Kids Online. My name is Kayla and I am the children's pastor here at the Park Church. What you're about to discover in the next couple minutes is some worship where you get to worship God and dance together. You'll hear the weekly Bible story lesson as well as some discussion questions at the end. I encourage you as a family to discuss and ask questions throughout the video, but also answer the questions as a family at the end. Discussion and questions is how you grow uh, deeper into, into discipleship and relationship with Jesus. And so I encourage you to do that. In the description below this video, there are also some resources and the uh, weekly Bible lesson coloring sheet. And so I encourage you to check that out as well. I pray that this video serves you and your family as you learn and grow in Jesus together.
found in you love one another love one another yeah love one another that's what we'll do <sighs> oh, hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV, I guess. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to GrowTV! Listen, y'all, I don't know if I can do this today. You just might need to turn this off and go home because I can't do anything right. You want to hear about it? Fine! You see, for the past month, I've been here in my workshop. I started this whole how-to show on my YouTube channel so I can teach all of you how to build stuff. I made a chair, a hat, fake chicken nuggets. That all turned out amazing. True masterpieces if I don't say so myself. But apparently, I've lost it! Yeah, you heard me. I lost it. What did I lost, you may ask? Well, all of my talent. Everything. <sniffs> all out the window. You see, I've been here all day and it seems like nothing's going right. Try to make a bar stool. It falls apart. I attempt to build a picture frame. It becomes a pile of rubbish. And this? Do you know what this is? This is a whistle. I can even whistle out of this. <sniffs> it doesn't work. There's nothing whistle quality about this whistle. It's just a piece of wood. What was I thinking when I made this? This is little, there's no whistle qualities about this. Hey, Carl. What do you want? Whoa. Whoa, easy there. <sighs> I'm sorry, Jade, I'm just having a bad day. Yeah, I got your text. Super sorry things aren't working out. How did the swing set turn out? Don't ask. All right, all right. So how are we gonna fix this? What do you mean? Well, you're obviously having a hard day, so I'm curious of what you've done to try and make it better. I just figured I'd stand here and pout until I fell asleep. And then I wake up and just, I don't know, keep doing that. Carl, you know that's not what you need to do. I know something you could try. Something? Someone help me? How? Well, have you prayed? Pray? I hope prayer makes my, my, uh, make my projects come together. Well, maybe not, but what it can do is help you find peace patience and who knows it might help you with your projects you really think so of course prayer is our way of literally talking to god and when we talk to god god always listens whoa i don't know if i knew that but what if what if what what if i get like confused and don't know how to talk to god or or i'm just i don't know talking to myself it's just talking to god but if you're worried about not knowing what words to say you can ask god questions you can read words god said you can look at things god made by taking a walk outside wait have you prayed to god before of course i have jada but how do i know if i'm praying right what if my words aren't special enough what if my prayers aren't long enough what if <gasps> Jada, what if my voice is all wrong for praying? Well, you're in luck, because there's a part in the Bible where Jesus teaches us how to pray. No way. Really? Where? It's in Matthew 6. He first tells us that when we pray, we shouldn't do it to be loud and to get attentions of others. We should never pray because we try to impress people. Instead, we should take it seriously and make sure we focus on the importance of prayer. That makes total sense. But then this is where Jesus goes on to tell us how to pray. He then said this prayer, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Oh, that's awesome. But Jada? Yeah. Does that mean I have to say that prayer every time I talk to God? 
like the exact thing? Not at all. I mean, it's a solid prayer. It came from Jesus himself, but Jesus was teaching his followers and the people of that time an example of one prayer. But God doesn't put any rules on what we can and cannot say when we pray. All that matters is that we never stop talking to God. That's good to know. But now I'm realizing I probably have not talked to God as much as I should have. Ah, and that's okay. God is amazing and forgives us. But think about it like this. If your parents or best friends only talk to you like once a month or even once a year, do you think you feel close to them and feel like you have a good relationship with them? Probably not. Exactly. The more we talk to God, the better our relationship with God will be. And think about it, we should want to pray. I mean, how cool is it that every single one of us gets the chance to talk to God anytime we want? Even though God is in charge of this entire universe, God always hears our prayers. You're right, that is extremely cool. So, I'm gonna head out, but I'd encourage you to spend some time in prayer today. Thanks, Shada, I'll do that. And again, I'm sorry none of your projects worked out. That's right, and I guess I did have one project that came together, I guess. This is a hairbrush. Wow, that's really neat. It works extremely well. Oddly enough, it's uh, really good at flipping pancakes too. Don't know how that worked out. Hey there kids, that finally wraps up our month with Carl's how-to series. But I'm so glad I got the chance to learn so much with you all, especially that Jesus taught us how to pray, which is actually our big idea for today. So let's shout it out on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus taught us how to pray. Wonderful. Well kids, it's been fun, but I gotta get out of here. I'll see you next time on Grill TV. Bye. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grill TV.